Welcome back troglodytes to the Troglies Guitar Show. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to measure the resistance of your pickups both inside your guitar as well as loose. Now sometimes when you're selling a guitar a buyer's going to want to know the output of your pickup. And some people freeze up when that happens. It's really simple to do. What you're going to need to do this is a multimeter, also called an ohm meter. You can pick these up for around like 10 to 20 bucks. In the long run, these are definitely worth it because if you find just one pickup that's not working correctly, you've already got your return on your investment. I picked mine up at Walmart, but I'll leave some links in the description of where you could purchase one for yourself. So you'll either have these probe leads or you can have what I call alligator clips. I personally prefer these because it's a lot easier to take photos of. Alright, so the first step is you're going to want to take your normal lead that you plug your guitar into your amp with and just plug it in like normal. And then instead of putting this into your amp, this is what you're going to use to perform the test while the pickups are still inside the guitar. Now you're going to want to put the black probe after this little black line because this is your ground. And then you'll put the red one on the tip as that is your hot. Honestly, I think you can do it the other way around too. It should still work. Your multimeter might look different from mine, but you're going to want to find the 20k ohm setting. And the next step you're going to want to do is make sure all your volumes and tones are at 10, and then select with your pickup selector switch which pickup you want to read. So let's go ahead and read the neck pickup. Now when you're doing this reading inside the guitar, that's not going to be the exact reading if you were to take the pickup out, but it's close enough to know if the pickup is functioning correctly. This one is a Tim Shaw PAF measuring 7.44k ohms. That is exactly where it should be. So now let's test the bridge pickup. We'll just select it to the bridge. And here we can see this one measures a little bit less, 7.29, but that's still within the specifications of a Tim Shaw PAF. You can usually find online what your pickup should read if you find the manufacturer's specs. So quick review, you plug it in, you put your probes on the lead, you select 20k ohms on your multimeter, and then you should get an answer. Now if you want to test a pickup that is not inside your guitar, it kind of varies which pickup you're doing. This is the vintage braided wire style and it's what Gibson primarily uses. For these styled wirings, this is your ground, the actual shielded part, and then inside there is an actual hot wire and that is what you're going to want to use. Now if you don't see this wire, it's because you need to strip it off. I would highly suggest picking up one of these wire strippers for that. I'll put a link in the description. And this, this is just like putting it on the lead like you did earlier. You'll want to put one on the braided wire and one on the hot wire. And then you should get a reading. In this case, it's a very hot pickup at 14.47 ohms. And that would make sense considering this is a hot bridge pickup from Gibson called the 498T. Now this is what an Epiphone pickup will look like. It's kind of the same thing going on except for you don't have the shielded braiding here that acts as your ground. You have another wire right here that kind of looks like a ground wire because it is. So again, you simply put your leads on the bare wires and you should get your readings. And in this case, it's 7.4. Seven and a half is about what most PAF humbuckers go for. The final version of pickup I'm gonna go over is the four conductor style, which is becoming more popular because you can coil split and a bunch of other things with these. Now, you're gonna have to look up the manufacturer's specs. Sometimes you can't find it and you just have to guess to find out which one is your ground, hot, and then the other two. But in this case, this is a Gibson 57 Classic. And it's the green and white wire that you don't need. And you need to find the black and red. So again, you simply put your probes on them. And then you can see your reading on this one is just a little above 8, which is about where it should be. 
So I hope you find this information useful and you can use it to test your own pickups. So while no, this is not the only video on YouTube showing you how to do this, I hope now you're armed with this information just in case you need it in the future. It's definitely worth the money to have one of these and a black light at your arsenal because any guitar you buy online, you need to check it over very thoroughly. Thank you Troglodytes for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care. <laughs>